Morning guys and welcome back to the channel. I have recently received a watch from Eonix and um, yeah, I sort of designed this watch. This is a sister brand of the DIY Watch Club. You may be familiar with the DIY Watch Club. It is a company that specializes in selling watch parts or watch building kits. Um, they also sell you the tools that you'll need to build the watches. Um, yeah, they're pretty cool. I've built a couple of watches using their stuff before, and um, this is slightly different. Eonix um, offer you the opportunity to essentially design the watches that you want, but then they will um, build the watches um, for you once you've decided on the parts. And this is the watch that I essentially designed. I chose the style of watch. I chose the finish on the case. I chose the bezel insert, and I chose the strap. I mean, it says on the back here, look, Eonix, all watches are individually assembled by in-house watchmakers of our micro artist studio in Hong Kong. So yeah, I basically selected all the parts that I wanted to be assembled and they did all the assembling for me. So um, yeah, if you like the idea of basically designing a watch for yourself, but you don't like the idea of putting it all together because, well, the seconds hand in particular can be a little bit fiddly. Um, this might be your next best, next best, your next best option. And this watch is currently discounted and um, it's uh, 205 pounds at the moment. That's what um, I would have paid had I paid for it um, to have this watch built. They've sent it to me for free, but yeah. Um, this is essentially what I have chosen. Let me just get it off the cushion. Right, and there it is. It is a 200 meter diver stainless steel case. Um, yeah, NH72 inside. So it is a basically a skeletonized version of the NH35. Um, so yeah, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Definitely a little bit different. Um, you can tell this is um, a sister company of the DIY Watch Club because, well, the case just seems very similar to a dive watch that I built um, the first time around when I got some stuff from the DIY Watch Club. But yeah, nice FKM, I think it's an FKM strap, sign buckle, is it? Yeah, there's a little Eonix logo there, look. Um, yeah, so sapphire crystal, stainless steel. I think that is a ceramic bezel insert. Um, screw down case back. And um, is the rotor customized? I think they do offer a customized service. Well, they certainly offer um, a sort of customized, well, I was going to say dial. It's not really a dial, is it? Um, they've put ILW on this one for me. There's like a little section on this skeletonized dial where you can have something written. I couldn't think what to have on it, so I just asked for ILW. But yeah, um, so screw down crown. Yes, it is a screw down crown. Of course it is. I'm just going to hand mine the movement. Oh, and no ghost position as well. So the NH72 is um, a movement without a date complication, which is good because obviously there's no date um, complication on the dial. So no, no ghost position on the crown. That's fantastic. And that winds in very nice, feels Super greasy and very grippy crown, actually. Um, the bezel itself, I have had this watch out already. Um, the bezel itself isn't that grippy. Um, the outside edge is a sort of polished finish. It's not very thick, as you can see, and um, the resistance isn't that high, um, but there's just not a huge amount of surface to grip onto. The bezel action isn't fantastic. It feels a little bit like a Seiko, actually, that sort of greasy, sort of slick, um, fairly muted clicking action, um, a little bit of back play, um, but yeah, looks like the bezel insert is fairly well aligned, if anything, fractionally to the right, um, but that's not too bad, is it? And um, case finishing does seem quite nice, actually. Single domed sapphire crystal, um, so yeah, two pieces of crystal, uh, mineral in the back, sapphire in the front. A few specifications on the case back look, and um, you get uh, quick release spring bars with this particular strap. I quite like these straps because, well, they're preformed look, they come pre curved, so it's going to fit nicely. I'm um, not too sticky, so it's not going to attract lots of lint, um, but it's quite soft and malleable. Whereas um, sort of normal rubber straps can be quite stiff and um, unforgiving. Um, whereas these straps, just seem to sit in between silicon straps and your sort of old-fashioned traditional rubber straps. Um, case finishing is nice. I was about to talk about that and I got distracted. Um, yeah, case finishing is nice. Polished surfaces, um, nice chamfered edge there. Look, um, seems nice enough. Transitions between the two, definitely good enough for this sort of price bracket. Um, signed crown, signed case back. 
signed uh, buckle on the strap. Um, lots to like, isn't there? It's quite thick though. Let me just quickly run through the dimensions. Case diameter is roughly 41 and a half. Thickness is 14.4. Just going to double check because that's the sort of thickness I would expect from a 300 meter diver. But yeah, it says there, look, 200 meters. Um, so yeah, maybe that domed crystal and um, they've probably put a fairly substantial piece of crystal in the case back to ensure. Well, in fact, they would have done absolutely. Um, generally, watches with display case backs don't have 200 meters of water resistance. So um, that piece of crystal in the back, I suspect, will be pretty substantial. So yeah, that's going to add to the thickness case length is 47.4 and the lug width is 22. Now I've tested the loom on a couple of DIY watch club watches and it's always impressed me. Um, loom strength is a good indicator of whether or not a brand is cutting corners perhaps here or there. It's always the first thing that gets compromised when a brand is trying to produce a cheaply made watch and um, yeah in the past um, their watches have impressed so let's let this one run down for five minutes now and see if it's equally impressive. Right five minutes is up and the loom still seems to be fairly visible although the loom on the minute hand perhaps not as strong as the loom on the bezel insert and in the hour hand. So yeah, it seems to be okay. Um, not the best, not the worst, six out of 10 maybe. Right, here it is then on my roughly average sized wrist. And it's actually very, very comfortable, not too heavy at all. And um, yeah, the strap is 22 millimeters at the lugs, tapering down a little bit, but not too much. So that width is helping to control the height and the weight in the case. Um, like I said, not too much weight, but there is a little bit of height in that case, but also the fact that the strap is pre-curved, pre-formed, helps it to wrap around my wrist. So yeah, it actually feels very, very comfortable. No wobble whatsoever. Um, yeah, very, very nice. Now, as you would expect, there's a few weaknesses with this watch. I've already mentioned a couple of them. The thickness of the watch, it's only a 200 meter dive watch and yet it's um, well over 13 millimeters thick. And the bezel action and alignment, um, the action's not fantastic. The alignment is ever so slightly off. It's not too bad, but it is fractionally off. Another weakness is the legibility. Um, certainly outside um, in direct sunlight, it's not fantastic. That domed crystal is not helping. And of course, it's a skeletonized dial with, well, almost color matching hands. So um, yeah, not the most legible watch you're going to see. And for me personally, I tend to prefer watches like this um, on stainless steel bracelets. So um, yeah, I like this strap and um, they also uh, make it available with a leather strap. But of course, leather straps and dive watches don't really go. So um, this seemed like the natural choice to me. Um, especially when an all stainless steel bracelet isn't an option, unfortunately. So yeah, nice watch, a good mix of strengths and weaknesses and um, well priced at the moment for sure. £205 for this watch. Don't forget, it's not an AliExpress watch. This is essentially a micro brand watch. And yeah, if you like the idea of designing your own watch, um, might be worth um, taking a look. All right, guys, as always, massive thank you for me to you for tuning in. I do appreciate it. You'll see me again very, very soon.